Every day throughout the U.S., ladders are used. Unfortunately, many workers do not know how to safely use this tool. Being aware of the hazards of ladders can easily prevent an injury to you or a coworker. As you already know, ladders are used in a variety of different situations. Misuse of ladders or other careless actions can result in serious injuries from falls or electrical shock. Falls from a ladder can result in broken bones, electrocution, and even death. This video program is designed to provide information on the proper selection, use, and maintenance of ladders resulting in safe work practices. This training program will discuss load ratings, types of ladders, selecting the proper ladder, safety rules for all ladders, safety rules for step ladders, safety rules for straight ladders, defective ladders, proper ladder storage, training. Ladders are rated using a system of numbers and letters. Each designation refers to a load capacity of the ladder. Type 1 AA ladder refers to a commercial grade heavy duty use ladder. It has a weight capacity of 375 pounds and is available as a step ladder only. Type 1 A ladder refers to an industrial grade heavy duty use ladder. It has a weight capacity of 300 pounds. Type 1 ladder refers to an industrial grade general use ladder. It has a weight capacity of 250 pounds. Type 2 ladder refers to a commercial grade light use ladder. It has a weight capacity of 225 pounds. Type 3 ladder household light duty use. It has a weight capacity of 200 pounds. Type 3 ladders should not be used in construction or general industry settings. There are many types of ladders and devices used for working at various heights. Some of the different items used are portable ladders, fixed ladders, step stools, combination ladders, shelf ladders, and site-built ladders which are usually temporary. While many of the safety rules and guidelines discussed would apply to these different types of devices, this training program will focus mainly on portable ladders. The two types of portable ladders are step ladders and straight or extension ladders. Step ladders form an A-frame when being used. The step ladder is mainly used for tasks closer to the ground. The straight or extension ladder is used to access high, tight areas or where it's only possible to get two ladder feet on solid level ground. Portable ladders are made from the following materials. Wood, metal, and fiberglass. Occasionally you may find a ladder with a combination of materials, such as metal rungs with fiberglass side rails. To meet OSHA loading and strength requirements, all ladders should meet or exceed American National Standards Institute ANSI standards. All type 1, 1A, and 1-2A wood, aluminum, and fiberglass ladders meet or exceed ANSI standards and therefore meet OSHA standards for ladders used in the workplace. Other types may not meet OSHA's standards and should not be used in construction or general industry settings. Always consult your company's rules and guidelines. If you do not understand or have questions, ask your supervisor. Consult with manufacturer's guidelines on the possible and appropriate uses of the ladder. Guidelines are often printed on the side rails of the ladder. 
Before using any ladder, make sure it is of sufficient strength to complete your task. Never use a metal ladder on or around live electrical components. Always use a wood or fiberglass ladder when working around electricity. Check the warning label to ensure the ladder is suitable to work around electricity. Never use a ladder that is wet around electricity. Before using a ladder, inspect it for damage, loose components, and general condition. Look for loose rungs, nails, bolts, and screws. Cracked, broken, or split, badly gouged or worn rails, rungs, or cleats. The pre-job inspection is important and should become part of your routine. When on a ladder, always maintain three-point contact. One hand and two feet, or two hands and one foot, should always be firmly in contact with the ladder. Always keep your belt buckle between the ladder side rails. This keeps your center of gravity in a safe zone. Always wear non-skid shoes when climbing a ladder. Keep your shoes clean. Keep ladders free of oil, grease, and other slipping hazards. Clean the rungs prior to climbing a ladder. Use ladders as they were intended to be used. Never use a step ladder in place of an extension ladder. Never load a ladder beyond the maximum intended load or the manufacturer's rated capacity. Always use ladders on stable and level surfaces. Never try and increase a ladder's height by placing the ladder on boxes or pails, etc. Never use ladders on slippery surfaces unless secured to prevent accidental movement. Always secure ladders when used in areas such as doorways, passageways, driveways, or other areas where they could be displaced. Barricade the area to keep traffic or activity away from the ladder. Only have one person on the ladder at a time. Have a second person hold the ladder while the other climbs. This will prevent the ladder from swaying out from underneath the climber. Do not move, shift, or extend ladders while in use. Use extreme caution when working around energized electrical equipment. Make sure the ladder has non-conductive side rails. Always face ladder when moving up or down. Use both hands when going up or down the ladder. Do not carry objects or loads that could cause you to lose your balance and fall. Hoist objects after you have reached your destination height. Don't climb a ladder if the weather is not conducive to climbing, high winds, rain, or snow. Never use the top or top step as a step or seat. Do not use cross bracing on backside of ladder for climbing or any other purpose. Paint tray should only be used for paint trays or cans. A step ladder needs to be braced in place by a metal spreader or locking devices. Never climb on a step ladder if it is not braced and locked. Never use a step ladder as a straight ladder. After raising a ladder to desired height, lock the side in place. Side rails must extend at least three feet above upper landing surface. Tie off the ladder to prevent movement. For every four feet in height from the ground to where the ladder is touching the support at the top, the bottom of the ladder should be one foot away from the wall. This is known as the four to one rule. As an example, if the ladder is resting against a 16-foot wall, the base of the ladder should be at 4 feet out from the wall. Never stand on the top three rungs of the ladder. Never place the ladder against a movable object. Portable ladders with structural defects must immediately be marked defective or tagged with do not use or similar language and taken out of use until repaired. 
Defects that would render a ladder not to be used would be broken or missing rungs, cleats or steps, broken or split rails, corroded components, or other faulty or defective components. All ladder repairs must restore the ladder to a condition meeting its original design criteria before the ladder can be returned to use. Repair work should only be done by qualified persons or the original manufacturer. Any ladder that cannot be repaired must be destroyed and discarded. Generally, it is best to destroy and discard any defective ladders and replace them. Storing a ladder correctly is important in maintaining the ladder's integrity and usability. Whenever possible, store ladders vertically. If they must be stored horizontally, support the ladder in several places to avoid the rails from sagging. Ladders stored on the ground could become a tripping hazard. Never store them where they create a hazard. Whenever possible, store ladders out of the weather. Always store ladders away from heat or any other hazardous conditions that could compromise the integrity of the ladder. Employees must be trained to recognize hazards related to ladders and instructed on how to minimize those hazards. Employees must be trained by a competent person. The training is to include nature of fall hazards and the correct procedures for erecting, maintaining, and disassembling the fall protection systems to be used, proper use, placement, and care in handling of all ladders, and the maximum intended load carrying capacities of ladders used. Retraining is required for each employee as necessary so that the employee maintains the understanding and knowledge acquired concerning ladder safety. Remember that a fall from a ladder can easily cause a broken bone, back injury, or death. Always choose the correct ladder for the job. Ask yourself, how much weight will it need to hold? Will it be near electrical lines? How tall does it need to be? Inspect the ladder before each use. Look for loose rungs or cleats, loose nails, bolts and screws, cracked, broken or split, badly gouged or worn rails, rungs or cleats. Always use the three-point rule with your body between the side rails when climbing any ladder. And finally, always face the ladder when climbing up or down. These simple procedures about ladders can keep you safe on the job and at home.